Parker has forced Colton to lead his men to the radium mine. But Batman arrives in time to give the enemy some real opposition. Batman! Over here! Finishes the mine. Finishes the Batman, too. Come on, let's get out of here. Is Linda all right? Yes, just fainted. See if any of the others are still alive. You're still alive, sir. Never mind that. See if you can find Colton. Yes, sir. Uh, here, help me with him. Uh, why, he's one of those crooks. Just the same, we can't leave him here to die. Uh, what, what about the others? Under that, not a chance. What are you going to do with me? You'll find out soon enough. Let's take another look at our passenger in the trailer, and then we'll get back to Linda. It looks like he's in for an uncomfortable ride, but it serves him right. Mr. Bruce, this. Bruce! I thought you were caught in an explosion. Explosion? What explosion? Well, the explosion at the cave. Well, that explains it. Well, we never got to the cave. It was so hot out, we laid down by the roadside and took a nap. Asleep. Just when I needed you both so much. If it hadn't have been for the Batman, I'd be dead in the cave. Just like poor Ken. Ken dead? What happened? Oh, I don't want to even talk about it. Let's get out of this horrible place. Am I to understand the explosion has made it impossible to work the mine? Yes, it would take us months to clear away the debris. Another failure to carry out my orders. I must warn you that I shall be compelled to use very drastic measures 
Unless you well, we accomplished one thing. We eliminated the Batman once and for all. Are you positive of that? Sure. He was buried in the cave along with Colton and the rest of them. How many of our men were lost? Just two, Marshall and Reigns. Well, not so bad. A small price for his destruction. Now we will have to find new men to take the place of our late lamented members. Wallace, attend to that right away. I'll do my best. You better stay under cover for the present. The police have a warrant out for your arrest. That's no surprise to me. I'll hide out at Bernie's place for a while. But be sure you are not followed. We cannot afford to have the police suspect that place and keep men watching it. That will be all, gentlemen. My little friends don't frighten you as much as they did some of your predecessors. You're trying to scare information out of me. You're just wasting your time. I'd hate to use drastic measures. Your threats don't frighten me. Do whatever you're going to do and get it over with. A few hours alone with our vampire friends may cause you to change your mind. Should we leave him tied up? Yes, I think we'd better. <laughs> He isn't tied very well, so it won't take him long to get loose. Then we'll get some information. place, but I can't get out. I'll leave the phone off the hook, have the call traced, then contact the boys and tell them to get over here as fast as possible. Okay, Marshal. Hello? Hello, is this Boston Bakery on Powell Street? No, you got the wrong number. This is the Sphinx Club on River Street. Work like a charm. It's the number of the Sphinx Club on River Street. Sphinx Club? Yes, I only hope it's the headquarters of that gang we're after. Are we going down there and try and find out? Most assuredly. Oh, Dort. How's the look? Okay. Come on, we'll pick up Alfred. You're quite shocking, sir. Doesn't look anything like Bruce Wayne, does he? Oh, that's good. Now all I need is a name for myself. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, how about uh, Reginald Van Spike? Uh, that's a very smart name, sir. For a mobster? I'm afraid not, Alfred. Chuck White. Good enough. You boys may call me Chuck. Sir. Yes. See where that is, Alfred. Dick, get the cop. It's Miss Page at the door, sir. Tell her I'm not at home, but show her in here. See if she recognizes Chuck White. Oh, uh, Miss Page, uh, this is a Mr. Uh, White. He's also waiting for Mr. Bruce. How do you do? Hello. You a friend of Bruce? Well, yes. But if you're going to wait for him, why don't you sit down? I'll keep you company. I'll tell you about some of my fights. Oh, well, thank you very much, but I'm afraid I can't wait. Alfred, would you tell Mr. Wayne that I drop by, but I'll call him in the morning? Very good, miss. Goodbye. Goodbye. My word, she seemed a bit miffed, sir. 
She doesn't like some of my friends. <laughs> you certainly fooled her, sir. Well, if she didn't recognize me, I'm sure none of the boys down at the Sphinx Club will. Let's go. There's the club. Sure doesn't look any too good. Pull around the corner, Alfred. You remember here, bud? No, I'm from out of town. A guy named Marshall told me to get in touch with him here. Well, I'll see if he's in. Wait here a minute. There's a mug out here. Want to see Marshall? If he does, he'll have to dig him up himself. Shall I tell him what happened to Marshall, or just send him on his way? Wait a minute. I'll take a look at him. Which one is he? That's him over there with the slot machine. Bring him in here. I'll talk to him. Break it up, boys. We may have to shake this guy down. Hey, you. Come here a minute. Follow me. I'm looking for Marshall. You a friend of his? Yeah. I'm Chuck White. He told me to contact him. He said he could line me up for something big. Well, sit down, Chuck. Marshall's going to a place where he can't identify anyone. He's dead. Well, that's too bad. How'd he get it? He was killed in a mine explosion. Have you any identification or proof that you were his pal? Look, I just come here to meet Marshall. I didn't expect no third degree. Skip the whole thing. No, wait a minute, Chuck. All I want's a little proof that you're a right guy. So if you're not a detective or a stool pigeon, you won't mind if we search you just to satisfy our curiosity. Look, you mugs. Nobody's searching me till I find out what this is all about. I haven't a little dough on me, and I ain't taking no chances. So any of you guys get any ideas, he's going to frisk me. He better change his mind. You know what you boys want to take me as I am? All right. If not, you better get away from there, mister, because I'm gone. All right, boys, search him. The Batman's outside. Let's get him.
up a gangplank on him. Docker learns of a new shipment of radium for the disintegrator gun which is being sent by air messenger. And there's Preston lighting the flare, signaling the messenger to drop the precious radium. Will Robin be able to thwart the plans of the Jap spies? Don't fail to see Flying Spies, Chapter 10 of Batman at this theater next week.